Happy to see you here on my channel Higher Mathematics and really interesting exponential equation today 2 to the x equal to x to the power 32. Okay, how can we solve it? First of all, I'm going to show you a really, really great trick. First of all, let's rewrite this challenge. So we have 2 to the power x equal to x to the power 32. Okay, here's our challenge. And first of all, let's raise both sides to the power 1 over 32x. Don't ask me why, but let's do this. It's really a great trick, okay? Let's raise this to the power 1 over 32, 32x. Okay, let's raise both sides to this power, 1 over 32x. Okay, so we have, we have 2 to the x raised to the power 1 over 32x, okay, equal to x to the power 32 and of course we should raise both sides to this power okay so right here we raise to the power 1 over 32x okay we just raise both sides to this power and right now it's really great to know a uh, really great uh, power rule here yeah? if we have a to the power x raised to the power y it's equal to it's equal to a to the power x x times y okay we can easily multiply our our power and let's do the same thing right here okay if we multiply x times 1 over 32 x we can easily cancel this x and this x so as a result we have 2 to the power 1 over 32 and on the right hand side we have 32 and 32 we can easily cancel this so we have on the right hand side we have x to the power 1 over 1 over x okay i hope you understand this step we just do a really great really great trick what are we going to do next let's swap this uh, these sides right here x on the left and uh, x and uh, values on the right hand side because it's really it's easier for us to understand so we have x to the power 1 over x which is equal to 2 to the power 1 over 32. Right now, let's try to look at this 1 over, 1 over 32, okay? Let's write this 1 over 32 as 2 over 64, okay? Really great trick. Take a look. We have right here 2, and we raise this 2 to the power 2 over 64. This is the same as right here, absolutely the same. But right now, I'm going to mm, take a look closer. Right here we have 2, and right now I separate these two, so we have 2 times 1 over 1 over 64, okay? We can easily write this, uh, this power as 2 times 1 over 64, okay? Okay, what we're going to do next? Right here we have equal to, and right now we can easily raise this 2 to the power square, and raise all of these to the power 1 over 1 over 64, okay? This is like a really great, really great trick for us. These two we can easily take inside parentheses, yeah? And we can easily raise to the power 1 over 64. Absolutely the same thing as right here, okay? So we have four. Uh, we have 2 square equal to 4, so we have 4 uh, to the power 1 over 64, okay? And let's do the same thing once more. Let's do right here the same thing once more. So we have 4 to the power 1 over 64, uh, or let's rewrite our expression. So we have x to the power 1 over x equal to 4 to the power 1 over 64. And let's do the same thing. Let's write this x to the power 1 over x equal to, right here, let's write this as 4 to the power 2 over 128, 128, okay? And let's do the same thing. So we have right here x to the power 1 over x which is equal to the same thing as right here. So we, we had before 2 square, and right here we have 4 square, which gives us 16 to the power 1 over 128. Okay? Okay. And one small, th one small step, so we have x to the power 1 over x equal to 16 to the power 2 over 256 okay 200 over uh, 2 to the power 2 2 over 256 and as you can see right here the same thing 2 goes right here as a power of this 16 so we have x to the power 1 over x equal to 16 square 256 to the power 1 over 256 Okay, I hope you understand this, uh, these steps right here. I hope you understand my, my explanation. And as you can see, right here, x should be equal to this value because we have absolutely the same expression. And this x should be equal to this 256. So one and only case that this equation has roots. And when x equal to, so our answer, x equal to 256. This is our solution to this 
to this challenge. I hope you understand my I hope you understand my explanation to this really great challenge. So thank you for your time. If this video is helpful in any way, don't forget to like and subscribe and that definitely helped me out for this particular video. So see you in next videos. Have a great day.